Hello, uh, welcome to Zero Mode. We are back with a link to the past. Woohoo! Uh, the last episode, we completed our first dungeon and got the pendant of some courage. 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 And um, we're now bringing it back to Sarahara Laraos. Sarahara Laraos. Sarahara Dan Aykroyd. Uh, oh, you got the pendant of courage. I'm basically my voice hurts, so I'm just going to give up on voices for a while. Uh, oh, no, I kind of want to do them. <laughs> the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the pendant of courage. Are they fucked up? Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of them are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the great war against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. <laughs> just, just a giant seal. <laughs> How's a seal gonna help? I don't know, we've got a fucking seal though. Bar, bar, bar. That's a seal noise, in case you're wondering. No. Very, very good, very good. <laughs> I'll give it that A out of 10. Excellent. Uh, among, the, among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jinky, I believe you. What, did he say something? should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. It's the oh, seal. It's the boots. Ah, oh, sick. Uh, press the A button for a short time. Uh, a help. A helpful item is sitting. Okay, so that's probably the um, the flippers in the lake. Um, helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it. <laughs> get it. All right, man. Let's no, go it's it. not. It's not flippers. Uh, did he? He didn't give me a set so place to go, did he? No, but what we need to do... Oh, pendant, pendant, sword's up there. Um, we need to go to the library in the village. Yep. Because you get a book which allows you to get into the dungeon in the desert. What? Fuck that, man. That's... This is where, like, yeah, you have to start doing stuff before going to straight to the dungeons. That's some weird backtracking, but, I mean, oh, I've got the fucking boots now. Ah! Fuck you. Oh, that's sad. And then right. we chase after Cowboy Man as well. Oh, yeah. See what he gives us. That's a slippery customer. We're getting back. Uh, I really like these. And uh, then we are going to have to go to the east side of the lake. Basically. Yeah. Where? I can't remember where the item is. We probably need it. It's safe to assume we need it. Yeah, if he tells you, right, get this. Yeah. Think. Yeah, if the game explicitly tells you there's an item, go fucking get it. Then you probably need it. Uh, yeah, that looks very cool. But I, I'm gonna get used to this map, I'm sure. And as well, like, I am kind of, like I said, kind of, I know it better from A Link Between Worlds, but I do kind of know it. Dun, dun. Oh, oh shit! No. no, wait, is the the items the big gloves, isn't it, or something? No, that's to get us to Death Mountain. I might be wrong. Who named Death Mountain? Like, is come on. I mean, obviously it's named after Death Valley in America. But, um, oh, who named Doug Valley? <laughs> exactly, like, mate, come on, run up a bit. And, like, anything. Like even, like, even the most plain thing, like, Brown Valley. Sandy, fuck off! So, oh my god! <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Sandy Valley. <laughs> Shut up! Give me a heart, give me a heart. Oh my god, that's... What the, where the fuck did he go? Saw me coming, clearly. Right, um... Oh god. Ah! Fuck off! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, Alright, let's... I mean, I would say you've got rub, so you just run through him. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Yeah, fast. Pew, pew, pew. I think between play sessions, because we're obviously not going to complete this game today. <laughs> just gonna, I reckon? Just gonna, uh, just gonna watch some videos and get to get some practice in for uh, Links to the Past. Uh, no, you're not doing such a thing. You're not what? Nice, you're not nice to play it. <laughs> Do okay, this go blind. Go to go to I want everyone to see your failure. I got loads of coins. Can I do anything with them? Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Who put landmines? Oh, sorry, that was me. Like, oh, fuck this guy. Oh my god. 
Well, the handy thing is, if you die, you can't just start from against house. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! Right. Oh. Yeah, continue uh, at Dinky's house. Right, what? Well, did we need to go in the house or were we just hanging out here? I was gonna so say, I was so gonna say go to the house so you can get some um, hearts, but. Yeah, well, I just did that. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> That's my fucking my favourite bit of arrested, de <laughs> arrested Development. When he wakes up in the hospital after being stabbed and he's like, Am I in the prison? He's like, No, you're in the hospital, Joe. <laughs> fucking. Oh. I've said this before. Will on that. He's the man. He's the best. Oh, he's also a gamer. He's been in like the Call of Duty adverts and stuff and like said how much he loves oh, playing of games. Is he in like in one with Jonah Hill as well? Yeah. Um was that Call of Duty? I think it was. Oh. <sighs> It was the fucking. Well, I, I remember Jonah Hill being one where he was like something around like Super Soldier or something like that. Yeah. Have you seen the um, <laughs> the ad uh, with Jonah Hill for Palace Skateboards? <laughs> yeah. So, so good. Mate. That's some fucking genius. Here I am with all my skateboarding friends. I love to kick an Ollie flip. It's fucking. probably so much of like Tim and Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Huh? Uh, I probably don't need to attack all these. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you can run as well. So you can run through bushes. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, yeah, just ah! Fuck you! Stab him, McSordo. Oh, okay, he didn't, he didn't like that. Oh, fuck off! I mean, it's, like, the funny thing is, is like, I'm playing A Link Between Worlds on hard mode, and like, I'm, get, I'm getting through it alright. I don't know what if this is just because there's a different controller or what, but like... And it's just because it's not what I'm used to. I think so. I remember like when I first went back to this after years of not playing. Yeah. Being like, what the hell My is wrong with this control scheme? Yeah. Favorite controller ever? God. GameCube. Ah, oh, I, I was gonna say the same thing. Did we just become best friends? No, it's the <laughs> fucking. It's just so good. Isn't like, it? I think if they just redesigned it, so the C stick was actually full on analog. Yeah, which means not, not here to, to get yeah. books. Um, oh, what? So, so it was a dual stick controller. Um, it was only like eight way. Yeah, 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 exactly. So if it was like full on, like proper analog. Yeah, I saw it that. I knew it was good on there. The best controller ever. Just so comfortable. Yeah, like, uh, I do love. I know it's pretty basic, but the Xbox controller as well. See, I've never. I've played Gears of War with mates like once or twice. I've never really sat down with the Xbox controller. But I've, I've heard the Xbox One controller is really comfy. Isn't there like an elite controller? Like, you can pay over a hundred pounds for or something, and it's like. Yeah, you change all the components. It, it's modular and stuff. Yeah, um, you can make certain buttons analog if you want to. Yeah. Um, not like. I don't know what difference that'll make for most games. Yeah. But, uh, do you know what I would change? And I think you could change where the shoulder buttons are, which I play Street Fighter quite a lot. Yeah. And I can't do certain finish moves. Yeah. Because of the triggers. Oh, okay. Unless I change the control scheme, which I do. Yeah, I could probably go to a dungeon now, not just attack all these plants. Um, you could chase up to Cable Man. Oh yeah, fuck, let's do that. Um, what I would change is, you know, um, I don't understand why people don't do it, is... On the, uh, the the middle middle stick of the N64, it's like rubber and it's rings, and that is <laughs> that's not uh, come on <laughs> rings low, low, <laughs> low hanging fruit. Um, but you know what I mean? It's it's just got that feeling of like your thumb doesn't come off of it, and like, the PS4 controller is kind of a similar feeling of like that rubber. Like I don't understand any controller that isn't rubber or like rings or something like that. And the, the worst one to me is the 3DS. The 3DS thumb, oh. uh, thumbstick. It's just... Where? I did chase him! Pretty bad. Oh, fucking hell. Right, right. the 3DS thumbstick, anyway. Yeah! yeah! Fuck that! I can't believe you caught me! With no speed, it must have been easy to kidnap Zelda. Fuck off, what? You don't look like such a bad guy, though. Uh, might be good at it. 
The trees in this village are cool. Is that it? I always thought you gave me something. Fuck off. Come on. I caught you. Get uh, this probably means the, the ones in the village. But the, yeah, there's so many games when I'm playing the 3DS that like, you just get super sweaty and then I, I can't control it. And the fucking, the nub on the new 3DS as well is bullshit. I fucking hate that little thing. I still haven't played one, so... Yeah. I much preferred when I had the, uh, <laughs> the monstrosity that was the 3DS XL and then the XL Circle <laughs> Pass Pro with the, like, the shoulder buttons. Like, it was fucking huge, but man, that was comfy. Yeah, I think if you're playing at home, it doesn't really matter anyway, is it? Yeah. Uh, right, so let's go to the dungeon. Like, trying to play games like Monster Hunter and then using that tiny little nub to swing around, like, it's just not responsive. It's not cool. And then as well, like, I get sweaty and stressed and then, like, I'm slipping off the thumbstick. So like, I've Googled before, like, rubber covers for, um, like, the thumbsticks and stuff, and, like, it, it just doesn't exist. So we should make some. Should. Although, should, yeah. obviously not many people will be buying that anymore. You should do that trick where, you know, people will blow up a balloon and then like put their phone in it and then like pop a pin and then suddenly they've got like a rubber phone case because like the balloon pops around the phone. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it just literally, it's just like, blown up balloon, put the phone in it, press it down and then like pop it and it just like wraps around. Just fucking do that with the controller, get a little tiny balloon. Uh, where the fuck am I going? Um, uh, there, we there. do need to go to the east of Lake Hylia. Okay, is that a cave over here? No, down. That's Lake Hylia. Oh, cool. Right, so I need to go to a cave. Oh, probably that cave there. Yeah, that looks, that looks cavey. Um, yeah, I remember when the Jewel Shop controller first came out. Yeah. The analogs of that was terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's just back in the day, wasn't it? Um, but they had no excuse, Nintendo had the N64 one, and that was fine. Yeah, that's very true. But then, it, it, so much of it is down to patents as well. Like, you don't know... Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, who's, who's patented what? Like, Nintendo have pretty much patented, like, every controller figuration <laughs> in the world. It's only, like... Um, oh, fuck off. There's so many weird things like that. Like, somebody holds the patent as well um, for games within a game. Do you know this? No. So it's because uh, it affected um, Splatoon. Uh, I can't, I can't remember the exact story in what way. But somebody, uh, uh, somebody go to your house and then go down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but there, there was a very specific pattern for the way that games can be recreated in a game, like the NES games in Animal Crossing, or like mini games in, um, uh, I'm trying to think about that. Uh, like in Uncharted 4, you can play Crash Bandicoot and stuff. Yeah. But um, it's only recently that people have actually been able to do that. It's before then, somebody had the pattern. I think Splatoon was one of the first times that the pattern had gone and they could actually do it again. Do you remember who it was? Nope, no idea. Got free so, search though. Ha! Um, ah, ah! It's probably because. So do remember Time Splitters 2? You, you would find. Oh, come on! Game cuts. Yeah. At certain levels, and then you get to, you got to play like old games. Yeah. I remember playing Animal Crossing on the GameCube, um, and at the time as well, like I was a proper Nintendo nerd. So the fact that I even had Animal Crossing was really weird for some people. I'm like, what the fuck is this weird game? I'm like, I mean, that's the reason I wanted to get it was for the NES. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, wait, no, can I go down and round? Is that the best way to go? Yeah. It's the only way to go. Um, yeah, I'm actually unlocking games now. So, but do you remember the first Animal Crossing? That was such a like an amazing um, game. I never played it, but I can remember it sort of when they announced it. Yeah, of, yeah, game really want to play it because it, it was uh, there's an N64 version in Japan, isn't there? Yeah, did it not come out in this country. No, I don't think so. Could be wrong, but I think the go north. Then? Oh, man. Ah, sick! Yeah, I think the um, the GameCube version was the first Western one. Um, and yeah, man, just like... Uh, so, uh, I don't know, just like... So, oh, shit! Do I get powers or just fairies? Just fairies. Okay, cool. Huh? I'm so ready! Give me the fairies! Feed them oh, to no, me! Oh, no, I think she just talks you out. Okay, she's in a sweet little bikini as well. What the yeah, fuck? what happened with, like, from Ocarina's own onwards? They turned into, like... 
ha hags. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> hags, yeah. Now, have you seen the the one for Breath of the Wild in the latest trailer? Yeah, she looks like the N64 oh. one. She looks, she looks like a busty lady. I'm all for that. Not that that's, you know, the measure of a fairy, but can't hurt. Can't hurt, can it? Yeah, the bigger the bosom, the more powers <laughs> the, you've got. The meaner the fairy should know this. Uh, right. Ah, uh, oh, fucking crows! Do the crows have a stupid fucking Zelda name? <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> like, you just immediately were resigned to like, I'll get my phone out, yeah. Well, I haven't deleted the page since, uh... uh, uh. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, they've got a great name. Crow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh, look at this little bush crab. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a tweet the other day. Uh, <laughs> someone was like... Remember when we, when we all hated Bush? <laughs> how, how trivial does that seem now? Oh, that's so true. Sorry, that's it. No more. Uh, that's that's the line. No, no politics. Oh, uh, yeah. Dun, dun. Uh, in other news, puppies. Oh, dude, I'm still getting over that fucking thing you showed me of the Saudi Arabian prince transporting 80 falcons on a plane. I'm kind of intrigued why he had... 80 falcons. Uh, dude, if I was rich, I'd have 100 falcons. I can't believe he only had 80. Oh, fuck you! Well, maybe he only wanted 80 to go with him on a commercial flight. Yeah, uh, that's true. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> He's just, like, got another set of falcons. And I'm just imagining as, as like, one of those team-building exercises. And as well as the 80 falcons, he's got 80 wolves on another <laughs> plane. <laughs> and, like, 80 mice on another one. He's like, all right, all right, hang on. We've got this many falcons, I need to get the falcons here, the wolves come back on a coach, I get the mice across on a boat. <laughs> These just look like dancing butt plugs. Right? They do. They look like <laughs> they look like the French Christmas tree giant butt plug. <laughs> the one in Paris. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, I was just talking about the falcon guy, wasn't that a little bit? Doesn't matter. Whoa, we exploded! Fuck, that was horrible. Can I... Do... There's like those spiders. Pop spiders web. And like, oh, millions come out. Oh, oh, that video when someone slaps a spider with a sandal, oh. and then all the babies like burst out up the wall and go a million ways, like... Oh. Oh, fucking hell, right. Oh, God, right, this has gone on too long. Okay, uh, next time, guys, we'll be back playing more Link to the Past and more spider chat. Bye-bye!